morning and welcome time to start today's yoga session be comfortable be relaxed leaving all the worries away concentrating on the yoga session ahead just spending few moments filling the breath going within and breath coming out Time to start with three hip pranayams. For that, take a deep breath in. Breath in. Slowly, gently raising both hands above head, bringing the palms together, starting to rub the palms, starting to feel the warmth, keep rubbing the palms, feeling that heat, shakti, urja energy. <coughs> Gently opening the eyes, closing the palms. So once again, welcome, good morning. What for today, I have a message. It says, the ornaments of the soul are justice, integrity, courage and truth. What a lovely message, I read it again. The ornaments of the soul are justice, integrity, Courage and truth. With that lovely message, I stand up, we'll stand up, do warm up, loosen up, and get going. I like to see camera position for standing about that. Okay. <clears throat> so, time to start with stimulating our hypothalamus. Fingers on the top of the head, roughly where the middle finger is. Concentrating on that portion as we tap the top of the head with our fingers, with a feeling of stimulation to our hypothalamus gland. And also having a feeling that that will help us regulate release of the hormones all through the day, all through our activity. And relax. Coming on to our thyroid glands, by the side of the thoracic region, with fingers gentle tapping again, with the feeling of stimulation, awakening of thyroid glands. And shoulders and the thighs, and diagonally going to the shoulders, tapping the shoulders, tapping the thighs. And relax. 
jogging with our warming up sequences. One for stand still jogging. Hands moving up and down, legs stretching up and down, loosening up the body, warming up the body. Get that blood circulation moving. <coughs> forward, lifting the toes, bending, and massaging the right knee. Bending further forward, coming close to the toes, touching the toes, those you can. Keeping the leg straight, feeling the stretch down the leg, down the hamstring, all in the posture for me. Slowly, gently breathing out. Back to soft, soft, gently softening the leg over. Left leg stretched forward. Lifting the toes, bending forward. Massage left knee this time. And then bending forward, touching the toes, or coming as close. Breathing out, back to starting position. Alternate steps, stretching the legs, bending the knee, digging the hips. Few alternate steps, moving forward and backward. Doing the same thing sideways, stretching the legs sideways, this time digging the toes, bending the knee. And let's continue with our warming up sequences. Four hands in front. Palms fully open. Gently closing the palms, falling the fist. Taking a nice gentle deep breath in, following the vinyasa yoga techniques. As we breathe in, opening up the palms, stretching out fully with normal breathing. Momentarily holding the posture. And gently breathing out, closing the palms, forming the fist. Doing this one more time, deep breath in, palms opening up, stretching out fully. Slowly breathing out, gently closing the palms, forming the fist. And both hands in front, from the fist, both hands touching each other this time. As we work through our wrist joints, five gentle rotations going one way. Feeling that rotational moment, translating that through elbow all the way back to the shoulders. After five rotations one way, changing the rotation direction, five more in the opposite direction. And relax. Coming on to our head, neck, thoracic region. Four sequences head up, down, right, left. Right shoulder, left shoulder. Then the circle in each direction as guided. 
So, taking your dip, breath in and tilting upwards, backwards. Slowly breathing out, going to the center without stopping, breathing in, right, tilting forward, chin getting close to the chest. Gently breathing out, back to center, breathing in without stopping, head going sideways to right. Keep going right and at the end of travel, trying to maneuver just a little bit further to maximize the sideways stretch. Momently holding the posture. And breathing out, back to the center, breathing in. Going sideways to left. Gently breathing out, returning to center, breathing in once more. And going sideways this time to right shoulder without lifting the shoulder. Bringing right ear as close as possible to the shoulder. Feel that stretch down the left hand side. And gently breathing out, back to the center, breathing in, going sideways to left shoulder. And gently breathing out back to starting position, head tilting forward with chin resting on the chest to start with. As we prepare for head roll, right to left, left to right, one cycle each. So follow the starting position, taking a nice gentle deep breath in, head going sideways to right. Keep breathing in, keep rolling up. Gentle roll upwards, reaching the top, stretching at the back for a moment or two. And breathing out, nice gentle roll down, back to the starting position. One more time, deep breath in, head going sideways to the left, rolling up. Again, reaching the top, stretching at the back for a moment or two. And breathing out, gently. Rolling down on right, back to starting position, and relax. Moving on to our shoulder shoulder joints. <coughs> Still continue with our warming up sequences. Hands going up from front, coming down at the back. Breathing in, both hands slowly, gently rising from front. Lifting middle part of the body in the process, feel that upward stretch. Keep going upwards until we reach end of travel. Gently maneuvering the hands to go at the back, slowly breathing out, bringing both hands down, back to starting position. One more time, but this time back to front. Breathing in, both hands rising upwards from back. Keep going upwards. And up for travel, hands maneuver to come in front, breathing out. Both hands returning to the starting position. And relax. Palm resting on shoulder blades, elbows in front. Time for a couple of elbow to elbow stretches. <coughs> Breathing in. Both hands going upwards, backwards. Keep going backwards until we reach end of travel. Then just try to go a little bit further to maximize full elbow to elbow stretch. Fill the opening of the chest 
Rolling the posture. Slowly breathing out. Back to starting position. Doing this one more time. Breathing in. Back to full elbow to elbow stretch. And breathing out, returning to starting position. And both hands stretch sideways, palms fully open. Initially feeling that palm to palm sideways stretch. Holding and maintaining that sideways stretch. Time to draw nice gentle circles. Two, three rotations going one way. Nice slow movement. Feeling that movement around our shoulders, shoulder joints, shoulder blades as we draw the circle. Three rotations going one way, changing the rotation direction for the same in opposite direction. And that completes our initial warming up sequences. So now we can go through stretching the nasans, legs to mat feet apart. Actually, start sideways. We shall start with both hands, upper body going right, then left. Breathing in, from waist upwards, upper body, both hands going right. End of travel, just trying to maneuver a little bit further to maximize the side leg stretch, holding the posture. Slowly breathing out, back to the center without stopping, breathing in, going sideways to left. Breathing out, back to starting position, and both hands going up, palms locked, stretching upwards, maintaining that upward stretch, we shall have upper body and hands going right, then left, so we are all at the starting position, breathing in, upper body, both hands going right, keep going right, end of travel, Holding the posture. Slowly breathing out. Back to the center, breathing in. Going left. Back to starting position and relax. Both hands stretch sideways again, preparing for Arth Chandrasana, half moon posture. We shall start with going right, then left. Taking a deep breath in, as we breathe in, right hand sliding down, right leg as low as possible. Left hand, upper body going left to right. Think of our palms, fingers coming close to the toes, touching the toes, or as close as possible. All in the posture. Slowly breathing out. Back to the center without stopping. Breathing in. Left hand sliding down, right left leg. Right hand upper body going right to left. And 
gently bring it out, bring your knee to starting position. And one side side bend again, preparing for Konasan to Konasan. Slightly different breathing sequence. We shall breathe in and then as we breathe out, we shall start with right hand going diagonally across the left foot and vice versa. Standing still, take a deep breath in, breathing out, bending forward, right hand close to left foot, left hand up, looking down. Gently breathing out. Breathing in down there, sorry. Back to starting position, breathing out. Bending forward diagonally across, left hand close to right foot. Right hand up, looking down. Moving on to another subset of chair postures, legs slightly together, hip width apart, both hands in front, <coughs> two circles of chair up to katasana. Breathing in, keeping upper body straight, lowering up to chair level, holding the posture. out, starting position, doing this one more time, deep breath in, going back to the chair and see if we can go even a few millimeters lower than last time as we hold the posture, feel that pressure coming on the thighs, the calf muscles and the knees. Breathing out back to starting position and relax. Legs back feet apart. Taking up Anjali Mudra Namaskar position as we prepare for Devi Asana, Goddess posture, variation of chair. Breathing in, keeping up body straight, lowering up to chair level again, and dog travel, holding the posture. Now opening up both hands, nice gentle circles, two rotations going one way, maintaining the chair posture, two more, in opposite direction, gently breathing out, starting position, and relax, bring legs, legs back together again, hip feet apart, or a little bit further, as we prepare for Malasan. <coughs> Again, Namaskar and Jim would drop position to start with. <coughs> we shall go all the way down to the floor, ending up in squat position, lifting the heels, sitting on the toes, and then elbows pushing the knees upwards, knees pushing the elbows inwards, holding the posture. Malasana. Breathing in, going all the way down to the floor, ending up in squat position, lifting the heels, sitting on the toes. Then, if you can, elbows push the knees outwards, knees push the elbows inwards, feel that pressure coming on the palms, feel that pressure on the toes, taking the full body weight, holding the posture. Malas. Gently lowering the heels, standing up 
after the big hug, back to the starting position. And relax. And it's going diagonally across with our fingers, holding on to the earlobes as you prepare for super brain exercise. Breathing in, sitting down, breathing out, standing up. Three cycles, go to the session. Fingers holding onto your lobes, having a feeling of stimulation toward it to our brain. Breathing in, sitting down. Breathing out, in, down, out, in, down, out, and relax. Backward forward stretches, leading to sun salutations, swimming up the <coughs> Moving in, both hands going up and over, stretching upwards, backwards, feel that full frontal stretch. Slowly breathing out, bending forward, arms getting close to the toes, or as close as possible. Now trying for gentle up the oscillations, moving upper body up and down a few times in the three times in the center to start with. Move up and down, feel that movement around our back, lumbar area. Also working on our legs and the hamstring in the process. Actually moving up and down, going right. Keep going right until we reach end of travel. End of travel, turning back to go left. End of travel on left hand side, staying there for our lung exercise. We're going to breathe in and as we breathe out to the mouth, going left to right and vice versa. So, starting position on left hand side, take a deep breath in. Ah! Deep breath in. Okay. It's not a slight interruption. We will continue now with our sun salutations. So we must pause. Starting slowly, gradually breathing. Om Surya Yamanama. Supernova. And forward, arms close to toes. Arms on the floor, right leg stretch back, left foot roughly between the two palms. Left leg back, plank posture. the knees, slide back, then forward to the floor. Raising the front, the jingasan, feel the stretch down the back, down the spine.
back to mountains, stretching upwards, doing what you agree. Right, leg forward, stretching left, looking up. Left leg forward then, two in one action, palms close to toes. It's going up and over, stretching upwards, backwards. Let's do it. Both arms on the floor. Left leg stretch back this time, looking up. Right leg back. Dropping the knees, sliding back, then forward to the floor for a stand lesson. Quick reminder, only parts touching the floor are the eight limbs, the toes, the knees, bit of the belly or the chest, both palms and the chin, rest of the body off the floor. Here's the front. Back to mountain, Bhagavad Doing what I agree. Left leg forward, stretching right. Right leg forward, then. Hands up and over. And forward, arms on the floor, right leg back, left leg back, dropping the knees, right back, then forward to the floor. There's the front. Back to mountain. <coughs> right leg forward. Left leg forward. Hands up and over. And Om Hiranyakarvai, hands up and over, then forward, arms on the floor, left leg back, right leg back, dropping the knees, slide back, then forward to the floor, lazy in front, back to mountain, left leg forward, right leg forward, over. And Namaskar. Next two cycles, going through the physical actions without stopping in between. Then doing some heart pumping action, cardio work. Om Surya, hands up and over. And forward, arms on the floor, right leg back, left leg back, drop the knees, slide back, and forward. Is in front, back to mountain, right leg forward, left leg forward, hands up and over, and one more if you can. Om Sriya, hands up and over. 
forward, arms on the floor, left leg back, right leg back, dropping the knees, like back, then forward, face the front, back to mountain, left leg forward, right leg forward, and dropping over, and release it off. That completes our sun salutations. So we'll take well with our rest in Savasana. I'll adjust the camera position for the floor, so we can continue from the floor. Lying down in Shavasana. Just relax the cover for a few moments as we continue from the floor. <coughs> Just spending a few moments with deep breath in, slightly longer deeper breath out, relax the cover. Feel <laughs> free to rest a little longer with arms facing the floor, legs up in the air. Time for a bicycle ride. And gently bringing both legs back to the floor and relax. Both hands going up over the head, above the body, above the head rather. Stretching the hands away from the head, stretching the legs with the toes pointing towards the floor. Feel that full stretch up and down the body, feel the tightness, tenseness. Momentarily holding that posture. And let go and relax. And now time for three cycles of sit-ups. So, breathing in, sitting up, palms close to the Breathing out, to the floor. Breathing in, to the toes. Breathing out, back to the floor. Breathing in, to the toes. Breathing out, back to the floor. Then bringing both hands back by the side of the legs and relax. As we prepare for three versions of Uttan Padasans, leg raises version 1, leg straight and held at 15 to 20 degrees maximum and drawing small to medium circles as guided. <coughs> Arms firmly facing the floor for versions 1 and 2. Uttan Padasan version 1. Breathing in, leg straight, raise up the floor and hold that fairly low angle. <coughs> Bringing lot more pressure on the abdomen, holding the posture. Now, small to medium side circles, two rotations with both legs going one way. Two more in opposite direction. And jump. <clears throat> Version 2, legs going halfway up and then drawing medium to large circles as well. Uttan Padasan, Version 2. Breathing in, legs straight, halfway up. Hold that posture. Now, medium to large circles, two rotations with both legs going one way. Feeling that movement around our hips, pelvic base. Two more in opposite direction. And back to the floor. Time for leg raise, version three, creating the L shape. With palms holding the legs behind the knees, helping stretch fully upwards. And <coughs> Traction and as guided. Breathing in, legs straight at 90 degrees up in the air, both hands off the floor, palms holding the legs behind the knees. <coughs> so feel the stretch down the legs, keeping them straight. 
French diagonally across in the hands, holding the legs behind the knees, upper body straight on the floor, removing any compression in the neck area, holding the posture. Now using the hands, palms, pulling legs apart, pulling them downwards, bringing them as low as possible. End of travel, maintaining the downward pull, feeling the stretch down the legs, holding the posture. Breathing in, going back to our shape. Slowly, gently breathing out, both legs flat to floor, both hands flat to floor, straighten out the whole body and relax. Time for Sarvangasan, shoulder stand, lifting most of the body off the floor, off the shoulders, with palms propping up and supporting lower back, lumbar area. Practice with caution or do a variation of leg raise as a good alternative. Or if you like, just spend a few more moments in Shavasana. For those who can, Sarvangasana. Breathing in, both legs up in the air at 90, then using the palms to move over and lift middle part of the body off the floor. Palms off the floor, helping prop up and support, lifting most of the body up to the shoulders in the air, stretching out the whole body, holding the posture. Hold this posture a little longer to take advantage of the gravity. So if you feel the need to come down early, feel free to do so. Feel that blood rushing away from the feet, coming to the upper parts of the body. Slowly, gently remaining in control, bending the legs and bringing the whole body back to the floor, stretching out the whole body and relax. Onwards with more stretching and asanas from the floor, bend both legs, legs slightly apart as we prepare for bridge posture, setu bandha asana. <coughs> Lifting upper legs. Middle part of the body up in the air, creating a bridge like posture. Arms firmly facing the floor, have to take some weight. Setu Bandhasan, breathing in, lifting middle part of the body, upper legs, touching upwards, maintain that upward push in the back lumbar area. Feel that bridge like posture, holding the posture. Now uh, we will go into slightly advanced action, lifting one leg at a time, right followed by left as guided for those who can, maintaining a variation of bridge posture. So while we maintain and continue holding bridge posture, breathing in, right leg off the floor, toes pointing to ceiling. Breathing out, right leg back to floor. Breathing in, left leg off the floor, toes pointing to see. And gently breathing out, left leg back to floor, lowering ourselves to floor. Stretching out the legs and relax. Both hands stretch sideways in line with the shoulders, both legs bent, and this time both legs touching each other for Markatasan version 1, which we shall start with legs going right, 
petroleum lamp and vice versa. Breathing in, legs go right, right leg touching the floor or coming as close, tucking the heels toward the back. Head rolling left, ensuring palms are touching the floor. Hold that posture, feel the stretch. Slowly breathing out, back to the center. Without stopping, breathing in, legs go left, left leg coming as close or touching the floor, tucking the heels towards the back again, head rolling right, hold that posture, one in one, cycle two. Out, return to the starting position, <coughs> taking out the legs <coughs> as we go for Mantrakasan version 3. We skip version 2, which is legs slightly apart and going through the same action as version 1. So you can do that in your own time. We are now on Mantrakasan version 3, which we shall start with right leg up at 90 degrees and maneuvering for the toes to get close to left palm, head rolling right and vice versa. Version 3, cycle 1. Breathing in, right leg straight up at 90 degrees, then maneuvering for the toes to get close to left palm, left leg straight, head rolling right, holding the posture. Gently breathing out, reversing the action, returning to starting position without stopping, breathing in, left leg straight up at 90, then maneuvering for the toes to get close to right palm this time, right leg straight, head rolling left, feel the stretch, hold the posture. Gently returning back to starting position, bringing both hands back by the side of the legs and relax. Time for frontal version of Naukasan, both shift posture, lifting both hands, both legs in the process head of the floor, momentary holding the posture, Naukasan. Breathing in, both hands, both legs stretched upwards. Gently breathing out, legs back to floor, hands back to floor, head back to floor, and relax. One more in this subset of asanas, Vayu Muktasana, Pavan Muktasana. For that bend both legs, palms interlock going behind the knees in the process, lifting the feet in the air. Upper body straight on the floor, that's the starting position. <coughs> in the starting position, take a deep breath in. As we slowly start breathing out, lifting the head off the floor, bringing nose close to knees, using the palms, pushing the knees towards the chest, bringing nose and the knees as close as possible. Feel the stretch down the back, down the spine, holding the posture. And while you maintain and hold this posture, time to oscillate left to right, right to left. Five, six, seven oscillations on either side. All in the posture, Vayu Muktasana, Pavan Muktasana. And gently let go the legs, stretching out the whole body.
to wait to rest a little longer, but those who can, turning left to right, taking up tabletop posture as we go into another subset of pressed and asans. So, coming, starting with tabletop posture. As we prepare for cat cow postures, a couple of cycles each. Follow the starting position, breathing in, head tilting upwards, a bit push downwards. Breathing out, head going in, can we push up? One more time. Breathing in, head tilting upwards, start to push down. Breathing out, head going in, and push back. You can push the tummy up, you push the belly button in as well, and then it it's getting very close to the spine. And then gently. Returning to starting position, time for diagonal stretches, right hand, left leg to start with, and vice versa. Breathing in, right hand, left leg, stretch diagonally upwards, holding the posture, carrying the pressure, with the weight coming on the left palm, right knee. And gently breathing out, back to starting position without stopping, breathing in, left hand, right leg, stretch diagonally upwards. Gently breathing out, and coming to starting position. <coughs> Lifting the legs in the air, knees off the floor, taking a plank posture as we do sideways stretches to right and left as guided. Right hand coming off the floor, pointing to ceiling and tilting slightly to right, holding the posture. And then doing the same on the left hand side. So breathing in, right hand off the floor, body turning slightly to right, palm pointing to ceiling, holding the posture. Slowly breathing out, reversing the action, back to starting position, with breathing in, left hand pointing to ceiling, coming slightly to right. And breathing out, gently back to starting position, slowly gently dropping the knees, sliding back and forward to the floor. Lying on the floor as we prepare for Shalvasan. <coughs> Palms <coughs> sliding under the thighs, which will help us lift legs a little higher. Holding the posture, Shalvasan. Legs straight, raised off the floor. So we got all at the starting position with palms under the thighs, breathing in, legs straight, raised off the floor. Maintain that upward push with the palms. Holding the posture. Slowly, gently breathing out, remaining in control, legs back to the floor. Sliding the hands out, and then hands going above the head as we prepare for Navkasan, both shaped posture work done too. So hands above the head, breathing in, both hands, both legs stretched upwards. Gently breathing out, back to the floor, tucking the palms and the forehead. Time to oscillate legs up and down, when you fit close to the back. Back to the floor. 
to the next cycle, putting your feet in the air, moving your hands to hold the feet at the anchor points as we prepare for Dhanurasan. Go shift posture, raising the front, pushing your feet towards back. So if you are at the starting position, taking a deep breath in, raise the front, push the feet towards the back. Hold that posture. Dhanurasan, go shift posture. Okay, let go of the legs, taking the palms on the forehead for a few moments. Rest, relax, recover as we move to another subset of asanas. <coughs> Again, feel free to rest a little longer, a little longer otherwise, taking your Vajrasana. In Vajrasana, if you can, as we prepare for two cycles of Mandukasana and two other asanas. So, Mandukasana, version one, palms flat, covering our belly button area. <coughs> Take a deep breath in, head tilting upwards, backwards, helping us take a lot more breath in. Breathing out, bending forward, continue breathing out, and once the lungs are empty, palms pushing the abdomen in, maintaining that inner pressure in the abdomen, holding the posture. Breathing in, back to starting. Forming the fist, knuckles either side of the belly button if you're distant. As we go through Mandukasana, version 2. Same repeat action as version 1. Take a dip, breath in, head tilting upwards, backwards. Breathing out, bending forward. And this time, one slung there empty. Palms, the knuckles pushing the abdomen further in. Maintain that inner pressure in the abdomen with a feeling of stimulation to our pancreas, holding the posture. Gently breathing in, back to the starting position. Time for camel pose on that side, guys, if it helps follow the action. Taking up half standing posture, palms by the side of our waist. <coughs> Breathing in, then turn back, and then either you can continue holding that simple version, or those who can, drop in hands with the palms touching your heels, and then tilting backwards further to create further stretch. Camel pose. Breathing in, upper body straight, tilting backwards. All the posture, effectively holding, those who can, as I said, hands off the chest, palms holding the heels, bang, pushing the chest forward, feeling the stretch in the chest, stretch down the hands, actually holding the posture for a few moments. And gently breathing out, returning to starting position. Turning again back, taking up for Jasan as we prepare for Mas Balasan order, child pose to complete this subset. Breathing in, both hands going up, breathing out, bending forward, palms touching the mat or the floor, sliding forward. Sliding forward with the elbows, touching the floor if you can, and then forehead coming close or touching the floor. Holding the posture. Balasana.
slowly, gently breathing in and to starting position. Taking a comfortable sitting posture, we'll do one breathing exercise for today's session. Just lung capacity increasing exercise through breathing. So, taking up Anjali Mudra with hands in front. As we breathe in, we'll open up the hands to cactus posture and the breath in, holding the breath and then breathing out. We'll do three cycles, one after the other. We are all at the starting position. Take a dip, breath in, hands opening up. Take up breath in, hold your breath. Out, breathing in, opening up the hands. End of breath in, end of travel, hold your breath. Breathing out, one more, take breath in. Hold your breath. And breathing out, returning to starting position. And relax. More strips move around, back stretches. So, legs stretched in front of us. <coughs> Stretching the feet backward forward a few times. Then three rotations each way with both legs, both feet. Going round, working through the ankles, start letting that movement through the knees all the way to the hips, the pelvic base. Three more in opposite direction. And relax. Working on our Knees, high and calf muscles, two cycles. Cycle one, toes pointing inwards towards the legs. Cycle two, toes pointing to the floor. Keep that subtle difference. Time for <coughs> breathing in, tightening. <coughs> Take a deep breath in. Tighten up the thigh and calf muscle, pushing the knees to the floor. Toes pointing inwards, momentarily holding the posture. Slowly breathing out, back to starting position. Deep breath in, tighten up the thigh, calf muscles, knees push down, and this time toes pointing to the ceiling. Floor rather, not ceiling. <laughs> toes pointing to the floor. Feel the tightness, tense this down the legs. Hold the posture. And gently returning to starting position. Legs. <clears throat> we will do Gom Kasan first. So, left foot resting on the right thigh, right foot going under the left thigh, <coughs> right hand up and over, palms coming close or interlocking the fingers, breathing in, pushing hands back, opening up the chest, momentarily holding the posture. Out, back to starting to sorting the legs over. But this time, right foot resting on the left thigh, left foot under the right thigh, left hand up and over, coming close to the right hand, touching the fingers or interlocking, breathing in, hands push backwards, opening up the chest, holding the posture. Gently breathing out, let go, straightening out the legs again, and then legs more than metric apart. As we do sideways stretch, hands going up, then hands and the upper body going to right foot, and then left foot rest out. So parallel the starting position with 
makes metric more than metric apart. Stretch start, breathing in, both hands going up above the head, breathing out, going sideways to right with our fingers touching the toes or coming as close. You can even touch the ankles or the lower leg, whichever, whatever is possible. Slowly breathing out, back to starting position, one more time, breathing in, hands going up out the head, breathing out, palms going towards the left foot with our fingers touching the toes, or coming as close. And breathing out. To start a position, keeping the legs more than nine feet apart as we do three cycle reach of milling action, chakki time, three rotations going one way, three more in opposite direction. The palms interlocked, breathing in, going back, breathing out, moving forward. Three cycles one way, changing the hand rotation direction for three more if you can in opposite direction. And then this sequence with butterfly action, feet pushed inwards with palms interlocked and pushing the feet towards the pelvic base, maintaining that inner push. Time for butterfly action. And relax. As we get towards the end of session sequences, taking up Shavasana, let the whole body relax. Arms facing the ceiling for Shavasana. <coughs> and we'll also go through a couple of sequences in Shavasana. First of all, breathing in, <coughs> holding the breath, and while we hold our breath, tightening up the whole body, tensing the body. Breathing out through the mouth and relax. We do that first, then that will lead to body scan. Deep breath in. Hold your breath in. Hold your breath in. While we hold our breath, forming the fist, tighten up the hands, tighten up the legs, tighten up the face, making faces, tighten up the whole body, the abdomen. Feel that tenseness, tightness up and down the whole body as we hold the breath. Breathing out through the mouth, let go and relax. Continue relaxing with breath within, breath coming out as we go through body scan, starting with right leg, focusing our breath. And energy to different parts of the body as guided. Breathing in, focus to left foot, ankle, calf, knee, thigh. Right leg, foot, ankle, calf muscle, right knee, thigh, right hip, pelvic base. Abdomen, belly button, lower back, middle back, lumbar area, 
upper back, shoulders, chest, lungs, right hand, bicep, elbow, wrist, right palm, and fingers. Left hand, bicep, elbow, wrist, left palm, and fingers. Neck area, frontal thoracic region, back of the head, top of the head, forehead, eyes, ears, lips, cheeks, chin, finally the thumb. Slowly, gently turning left to right, taking up comfortable sitting posture as we go through end of session sequences, starting with Shanti part, thinking of ourselves, the family, the world around us, offering our prayers to this Shanti part. Om Dio Shanti Antariksha Shanti Rutri Shanti Rapa Shanti Roshadaya Shanti Vanaspataya Shanti Vishwedeva Shanti Brahma Shanti Sarvam Shanti Sama Shanti Reti Oh Shanti 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 May peace be there. Little bit of slip psychology to hand clapping. Three cycles each. Cycles of hand clapping, but this time also making the sounds ho ho, aha, ihi, making those facial muscles work, making those sounds. Ho ho, ha ha, i i, ho ho, ha ha, i i, ho ho, ha ha, i i, and relax. Some happy moments through laughing out loud, opening up our lungs. Three cycles, take a deep breath in. <laughs> and you land with a short invocation to come prayer. Again, if you like, take up Anjali Mudra, the thumbs resting on the third eye position with the head tilting slightly forward. Asato ma sagamaya tamaso ma jyotir gamaya mrutyor ma amrutam gamaya om shanti 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 That's where we end today's session. Thank you very much for joining. Hope to see you another day, another time. Until then, 